Alright, what is up, my name is guy? My name is Wolfie Sharfang, and welcome to the first ever Wolfie Talks About Life slash Gaming. Now, in this series, or in this type of subsection, it's going to be pretty much anything that involves gaming or electronics. Anything that pretty much either involves internet or gaming that connects into life. And today's topic is going to be about Pokemon Go. Now, small disclosure to this. I realized after watching my last video that I maybe wasn't the exact best at um, explaining what I was trying to get through. I want to explain to you guys that one, I do all of these videos with no script at all. So everything that you're getting, all my thoughts and stuff, I've thought up, I'm thinking up on the fly and I'm trying to figure out the best way on elaborating it and explaining it to you guys so I do apologize I'm also ADHD so it like really just spazzes out half the time but I am actually trying to explain it the best way and I'm trying to keep it real instead of speaking through a script so anyway here's a video Pokemon Go for those of you that don't know is a game augmented reality game that is kind of like a geocaching you download the app, you it's GPS enabled so you have to walk, you can't just do steps or whatever. And you walk around trying to find Pokemon in these certain areas and you just actually have to walk and move around to find them. It's a very fun game, very addictive. Gameplay is perfect to play. I love it and loads of people love it. And no surprise that it's taken over Twitter. Now First off, I want to explain to you about is that it sounds like a great game. You guys are probably thinking why I'm doing a my thoughts on it instead of like a game review. Well, here's the reason. People are hating on this game. Parents, people that are like on social media and just want to argue for no reason, blah blah blah. And you may be wondering why? And I can tell you that very easily, because most of society is filled with idiots. And here is why. The five tactics or whatever that these people are going to use as their ammunition to try and get you to make it where this game will get shut down and people won't download it is these five reasons. One, supposedly Pokemon Go causes accidents like car accidents people not paying attention getting hurt blah 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 two it makes it where people are going to dial uh, trespass and violate by a late people's private property and federal property three it puts it it puts the game and makes you use it in places that would be disrespectful or rude. And then finally, the final part, it makes it where people are going to, let me see, I had this perfectly planned out, I had already thought about this, ah, uh, oh, it makes it where you, actually, no, I just minimized it down, sorry. Like I said, thinking about it on the fly, I guess I elaborated. Anyway, I can have an answer for the first one. Accidents, car accidents, people getting hit. People are getting hurt because of they're walking into the middle of roads. And it's saying, people are saying that it's forcing them to walk into the middle of roads when cars are moving to go get it. Easy answer for that problem right there. I'll separate it into five different parts. One being the part I'm about to explain. Two being car accidents. Three being the inappropriate places to open it. And the fifth one being actually the four places. Anyway, the first reason I can explain is that people are not looking up from their phones. They're staring at their phones trying to catch this Pokemon walking across the street. People do not have to do this at all. They can wait until he gets to the other side of the road or busy street or whatever and then get the Pokemon afterwards because it's not going to walk away if you walk 
30 feet in one direction. It will not walk away. You can tap it as long as it's still on your screen. The second one, car accidents. People are treating, are driving and playing this. And there are getting accident, accidents. People T-boning, flipping their cars, driving the ditches. The reason is, is because they're playing the game at the same time as driving. Like, people are getting T-boned and hit because they're driving 60, 70, 80 miles per hour on a freeway or highway or something. Or however fast you go on it. I don't remember the exact ones. But, um... They are slamming, they're playing the game, and then they're slamming on their brakes to go to like 20 miles per hour, or just to stop, so that way, they can catch a Pokemon. Okay, one, you're not supposed to text and drive, and that takes some, a, quite a bit of focus to text and drive, but Pokemon Go, that is like taking all of your focus, it was meant to be a walking game, you're supposed to walk or bike to an area and stop or whatever not driving it there's a reason that they say not to text and drive and there's a reason why they are having to put don't pokemon drive which they should not have it and one dmv is putting hashtag we should not have to tell you this don't pokemon and drive it is worse than texting and there's no reason why you should be doing it that is a simple answer idiot so far right okay Three, it's making people violate other, or trespass and violate um, other people's privacy. Well, I can tell you right now, the game puts Pokemon randomly in different areas, has it. People are choosing to trespass, walk over people's fences, go into federal property to go and get these Pokemon. You can find it in an egg which requires you to walk a certain amount of distance or and here's a or walk or go somewhere else that people have reported finding it not just in this one area that is the answer to the third idiot still four is putting it in appropriate places now this one is Neantic's fault and partially their fault but they were trusting the maps that they were using for the GPS locator. And the reason it's inappropriate is that one, it put a Pokestop or gym, I don't remember which one it was or if they ever said, at ground zero. And for those of you that don't know what that is, that is the 9 11 memorial. One, there would be no way of finding this out or any reason this should even be a problem of placing it there if people did not bring out their phones, which is disrespectful anyway, you're not even paying attention and showing your respect to the deceased into the memorial and they wouldn't have the issue and people complaining about it if people would stay off their phones for it like seriously get off your phone and pay attention to the memorial even if you just have to put it in your pocket for five minutes when you're not even trying to go to memorial which i'm pretty sure is out of the way and if it's not you can put it in the pocket and then get out of the memorial area and then you can get back on it but it is Neantic's fault because it did put it there and there is no reason it should be there. The second place is the Holocaust Museum. Now again, same issue, people should not even have it out to do this. The second, or er, they should not even have it out and use it. Seriously, get off your phone, you're going into the museum, get off of it stay off you're showing this you're being disrespectful but it is Neantic's fault for putting it as a pokey stop and not removing it the third place is actually an unfortunate in a major accident this guy had a house that was a church that he converted well he has a church that he converted into his house and they made it into a pokemon stop or gym or whatever an unfortunate place they use businesses, I'm guessing they use a map and put businesses and landmarks, and that's why the Holocaust Museum and Ground Zero would be in one of those landmarks and stuff, and why it would be at this guy's house. Now, it is unfortunate, but people started using the park away from it, and I don't know if he got it fixed or not, but it was unfortunate. 
Now, all of these things that is going wrong is because of the people that are using it. And it's idiots. It's not the game's fault. The maps, yes, they could update it a little bit. But it is not the game maker's fault at all. They're in no way, shape, or form is this their fault. And now here are my thoughts on it. That Besides that, here are my thoughts on the game. The game was made to expand the community, let you talk to your neighbors, get outside, go walking, all the while getting rewarded for it. Now, I, lo I ran all last summer and into the fall with a Zombies Run app, which you guys may know about, and I love that app, and I used it, and it was rewarding. I got to hear a story while doing it, and it was just, it was interactive. I really enjoyed doing it and it made me want to run more I ran every morning I loved it Pokemon Go is doing the same thing making it where people are wanting to bike or walk or whatever to to get these Pokemon and I mean I went to the park with one of my friends the other day and I've made probably a dozen friends talking and saying where Pokemon are and just talking about it it's doing its job well like I'm seeing kids Become, not get addicted, but just really enjoying it and possibly actually getting it actually addicted to playing the game. So, playing the game so they can catch these Pokemon. It's doing its job. In the middle of summer, kids are doing this. That's amazing. It's doing its job. Now, besides the quirks that is that has happened and everything, the app is doing its job and it's a very well put game now there are stuff that i don't like about it and that they have acknowledged and are going to be fixing but i mean that the game is fun and i will continue to use it it's a very fun game it does its job well and it's making me want to exercise and i'm actually talking to people i probably before would never talk to and so that's my thoughts good app it's got some downfalls with the map and stuff but majorly, all the problems these people are listening as saying, oh, don't play it, it's because of society. The app itself is near perfect and is doing amazing at what it's supposed to do. It's had a bigger impact than I'm sure the game creators ever thought. And I really, really like it. And I feel like, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on it. I can't really add any more without just going on and on. It's doing its job, and I think that everything else is just the rest of society. They're being idiots and they're not thinking. Now, that's the end of my rant slash part of the discussion, and I want to hear from what you guys think. Do you guys agree with me that the app is doing what it's meant to do? It has done it a couple of things like the placement of other things but all the problems people are listening is all because people are being stupid and idiots and not thinking or do you agree with the other people and thinking that it's the app's fault and that none of these problems would have occurred if the app hadn't approached and or if the app was treated differently I want to hear from you guys I do want to say I really want to hear what you guys have to say on these videos I do actually want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments and because it is a discussion and I want to see what you guys have to think and I was kind of disappointed in my last video I made um, in my talk of talking about life video uh, life's addictions and consequences I as much as my friends uh, I know in real life and people that I know online my friends online said you did a great job and stuff I wanted to hear in the comments and have you guys converse with each other and so that way talk I'm not doing this so I can get like popularity or whatever or I can show oh look I have this many comments I just honestly want to hear from you guys and I want it to be in the comments so I can see the discussion so please comment what you guys think what your guys side of the discussion is and if you guys think that this was actually an okay video 
Now that is going to be the end of this discussion. That's all I have to say. So that's going to be the end of this discussion and the end of the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I gave you guys something to think about. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Also, last thing. Sorry for this being a long video, but I it's a lot shorter than it would be. So anyway, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Peace.